Hey what is up guys, number of you asked me to make a some sort of video about holochain, either typical explanation, review or even compare to blockchain. Holochain claims to replace our current monetary and financial system and it claims to be the technology of the future. Well, in this video we will look what is holochain and if it can really replace bitcoin and blockchain. Exciting distributed ledger technologies powered by blockchain such as Bitcoin and Ethereum may have some scalability issues, at least at the current time, and also consume massive amount of energy. Holochain on the other hand is an energy efficient post blockchain ledger system and decentralized application platform that uses peer to peer networking for processing agent centric agreement and consensus system between users. The key advantage of Holochain is that every device in the network gets its own secure distributed sub-network and can function independently while also interacting with all other devices on the network for a truly decentralized edge computing solution. Holochain will enable developers to build decentralized applications for governance, collaborations, organization tools, social network, social media, vendor relationship management, platform corporations, sharing economy apps, supply chain solution, community resource management, as well as tokenless multi-credit cryptocurrencies and reputation systems. Traditional computing systems are designed around a stack like architecture of layering system upon system on top of each other to create multi-layer system similar to skyscraper. However, Holochain claims that this system is a little bit outdated. By creating an agent-centric computing architecture that can scale vertically and horizontally across a network, Holochain introduces a new model for data storage and transfer that can enable any edge devices. This allows smartphones to function individually and as part of the great peer-to-peer -peer network without having to connect to centralized provider. Holochain enables any device to have its own based ledger system. By using a holographic model for data storage and developers now can create decentralized applications that can scale in multi-dimensions across a network ensuring they are truly distributed. This enables every device on the network to function independently and only requires synchronization of data when necessary or agreed upon users. This means that every user is in control of their own data and never have to take risk of the data being sold or exposed to third party like what we just have seen recently with Facebook and Cambridge Analytica. The benefits of using Holochain are multifold. By leveraging Holochain, developers will be able to build new generation of decentralized applications and services that do not abuse users' privacy or destroy the environment. Holochain puts control of users' data back into the hands of users instead of mega corporations. Let's see if we can come up with the example what Holochain may look like in the current social media platform, such as Snapchat. Snapchat offers you a small file to download that sends data through the centralized service. Distributed applications would run locally on your personal device and would offer peer-to-peer -peer connection with your friends. So, if the Snapchat was a distributed application, you and your friends would all have the same applications on your phone and when you send a photo, it would be sent directly to your friends and only to your friends. No intermediary service, no intermediary blockchain. Another cool component of Holochain, it is a capacity of supporting a wide variety of consensus or agreement system between users. For example, Holochain can enable what it calls proof-of-service consensus system, where user gets rewarded when service is completed for another user, then gets compensated in cryptocurrency. This is the model of Holofuel is based on, which is a cryptocurrency attached to Holochain initial community offering. However, Holofuel is not your typical cryptocurrency. The idea behind it is amount of fuel is attached to the volume of community engagement. In other words, the amount of holo fuel is associated with service providers by developers, data hosters, and users. It is not a coin or token or any traditional cryptocurrency. It is a system of agreement between users not associated with monetary value but rather a proof of service value. 
It is a post-monetary system of community engagement, not a system of speculation or profits. I know, I know, this may sound complicated, but it really isn't. It basically just a digital exchange. If I do something for you, you do something for me of equal exchange or value. In the initial use case, it will mostly be hosting or data transfer, but eventually it could expand to a wide range of other use cases once more developers start building their own decentralized application using Holochain. Those developers will also have the capacity to develop their own unique agreement system or smart contracts based on whatever consensus model they desire. So, the question is, what about blockchain? Well, Blockchain and Bitcoin has been in existence for almost 10 years. While Bitcoin is a great way to mimic our current corrupted financial system, it is still considered as a digital gold and a great way to store value, but currently it's not as scalable and it does not create some sort of tangible value or engagements between different communities in some specific projects. I'm very bullish on Bitcoin, especially for a long term. Holochain may be a post-Bitcoin technology, which enables humanity and devices to participate in the post-monetary system and interoperate different services with each other. It is a system designed for both data integrity and personal integrity. In my humble opinion, Holochain may be better than blockchain or even Hashgraph, but there is a lot of unknown, and the time is not there yet. We can barely comprehend Bitcoin and how we should adopt this damn thing. But yet, Holochain claims to be the technology of the future. It may be true, but infrastructure and the time is not there yet. So if you would like to diversify further your portfolio, you can invest small amount in Holochain, but blockchain and Bitcoin is still my current pick as of the current time. So, this is the end, let me know what you guys think about Holochain. Is this its technology of the future? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe for more animated videos about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. Other than that, thank you for watching and see you next time.